grab it here. Got some more welding tech to look at. So, um, quite a compact unit. This is a um, inverter flux cord wire welder. And um, it's from Parkside. It was indicated on the box, and I thought we could do the basic unboxing. We'll see what we get. simple welding mask with its protective gloss. Put that to the side. If you'd like to see, I actually have a better one if you want to look at one of my previous videos. And then we have the grounding cable. And Kind of. The welding mask, it, it's, it, I mean, it works, but I wouldn't really suggest that it's the real one. This is actually not bad, actually. This is a small welding hammer and um, wire brush. Though. This, I actually, this, I think, isn't that bad. I'll save that. And that's the box empty. So let's see if we can straight, straighten this out a little bit. So it's got quite a nice long cable with it. It's actually got a strap so that you can actually carry the unit around. Hmm, that's not a handle. Completely sure if I like that. So, this is just main supply, European plug in my case, 220 volts. And then um, just a simple current adjustment. And then this is the plug in for. Grounding cable. like find the opening push it in and then twist it to secure it and since this is uh, like they had in the name that says that it's an inverter that means that it's electronics that handles the uh, voltage conversion and not um, not a transformer so it's a very light it's actually a very light piece of piece of equipment and on the back it has the on off switch now Inside. So anyway, the base is basically the basic operation of this is that this is your grounding cable, your return cable, and here you have the gun. And what this feeds out is some flux wire out of there. So there's no protective gas, it's a, a protection um, 
ingredients are included in the wire that this spits out. So you actually just have a wire wire on. And then it has this um, switch so you switch it on. Uh, you say feed wire and energy on. And then you, well, the interesting thing is we open it up and Actually, include a really basic spool of, um, of flux wire. And actually, there's quite a few different types of flux wire. I, don't, I actually haven't had a chance to read the manual, but it could be that it supports other other um, types of wire than just steel. This is probably some very basic basic steel wire. I would assume. Let's have a look. What does it say? Self-shielded flux cord wire, 0 0.9 millimeters, half a kilogram. So anyway, to feed the wire through the mechanism, I need to have it on so we can uh, feed it through. Well, I'll just take the packaging off, just to give you an idea what the flux wire looks like. Actually, quite thin, and there are uh, a little bit different thicknesses of flux wire. I'm not really. I think it goes. This is 0 0.9. I think you can, you can get over a millimeter. Then it could be, of course, that this maybe maybe nah. I suppose this is fixed to the 0 0.9 millimeter. But anyway, nice that they gave a um, a wire spool at least. So. Well, we won't be able to spool that off because we don't have it. Have it powered up. And this is the alternative. Ah, look! No, they have some nozzles. I wonder if they're um, different sizes. Or is it just the same? Okay, that's even smaller wire, 0 0.6, and this one is 1 millimeter, yeah, so you get 1 millimeter wire, and then what's this one, 0 0.8 millimeter wire, so a little bit different sizes of wire one can run through the machine, so I suppose the, um, the mechanism that actually drags the wire through this is the same, so then you just change out these nozzles. So, pretty basic. Um, I should hold that on a switch in the back. A carrying strap instead of a carrying handle. I don't know if I really like that idea. But, um, this is the only area you need to access, and the rest of it's the electronics port. Quite a nice cover. I think a reasonably long working current cables. This is at least long also so I'm not complaining thick wire oh maybe I should put the, I put the nozzles the temporarily at the bottom don't lose them. so yeah uh, so the next um, will be in um, one of the fabrication videos to put this to use so. If you'd like to stay posted on one of those, then consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you thought this was in itself informative. And uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, help pay for this stuff and other stuff, uh, links in the description. And um, merch is also available. Yeah. And I'll see you in the next one then. Let's see if we can put this one to use.